Let's look quickly at the difference between a simple change and an extensive change. This flowchart is available to you in your top desk environment on the Change Management module page in the Operator Portal. Both simple and extensive changes begin with a preliminary request for change, which requires authorization from a manager in the self-service portal to proceed. Next, they both become a request for change, which is authorized by an operator in the operator portal. Now, a simple change involves, generally speaking, a one-step process, after which the simple change is considered implemented, as we see here. The simple change can then be closed. An extensive change, by contrast, is a multi-step process where each of the steps are referred to in TopDesk as activities. That's what this box down here represents. Each activity within the extensive change must either be resolved or skipped in order for the extensive change in general to be evaluated and then closed. The evaluation phase is also specific to extensive changes, and it allows you to review everyone's work and collect feedback before the extensive change is closed. To see the differences between a simple and extensive change in practice, check out our other videos on how to create change templates.